Hello, my name is Brooke Lester. I'm at Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Anki electronic flashcard application to a Windows machine. I'm using Anki in my elementary biblical Hebrew course, uh, providing decks, uh, uh, decks of electronic flashcards in Anki uh, for students to prepare for quizzes in Biblical Hebrew. So, let's download the application. You can see that in my browser, Firefox, uh, you can use Firefox, Chrome, Explorer, it doesn't really matter, I've gone to the Anki website, which is A-N-K-I-S-R-S dot N-E-T. That's Anki S-R-S dot net. And once I've arrived at that home page, there's a download box right here, and I choose my operating system, which in this case is Windows. So I click on Windows, and I want to download the latest release, which is 128. So I, at least at this time of the rec at this recording, it is. So I download the latest release for Windows, and ask me if I've would like to save the file, and I click yes, I want to save the file. There we go. And uh, that's downloading now. You can see the progress down here in the uh, download folder. Now I'll click on the folder so we can see it. And I just wait just a moment while that downloadable, while that executable file downloads, and now I'll double click on it. See a little spinning bar telling me things are happening. And away we go. Um, this is Norton uh, for me sticking its nose in real quick and just asking whether I want to allow this to happen. And I say yes, I allow it. Seems to be happening twice because I click twice. Okay, so I'm going to download it to a destination, the, the default destination will be just fine. And it's telling me that if I'm uploading from a, pre this is a default message, if I'm uh, upgrading from a previous version of Anki, it wants me to close the original version of Anki, which is fine. And then you just allow it to install. And once it says that it's completed, the box will close automatically, or I can say close. That's it. Now if I want to open the application, I just go to my Start menu, and find it, click Anki. Now I've used it on this machine before, so I suspect that when it opens, yeah, it's going to open it's going to show me a deck that I've already used. You'll probably see a blank window here of decks or something else. Uh, what you'll want to do is, if you have downloaded a deck from our course website, like our Moodle site, say quiz number one, then you would just click File and Open and navigate to that wherever you've saved it. Here I've saved it to a desktop file. Quiz number one dot Anki and click Open. And there's the deck, and it's got, uh, you, you won't need to change the defaults on, on sort of how it displays, um, what order it displays things in. Uh, all you need to do is click review, because you want to review the deck. So the first word that comes up in this case is Melech. Uh, let's assume that I know that that means king. I click show answer. And uh, now the days here are going to be different for you because I've used Anki before, I've used it with this deck before, it's responding to activity I've done before. Uh, but just let these be what they are. The point is that for me, let's say that that was an easy word, then I'll just click easy. Then it shows me the next word, haya. Uh, let's say maybe I don't know what that is. So I click show answer. It's a verb that means to be. Since I didn't know it at all, I'm going to click again, which means it's going to show it to me again during this session while I'm sitting right here. So I click again. It goes on to the next word, Eretz. 
say I think about it really hard and I think it means something about land or something like that. It means land or earth. Uh, I might say that I, I was good with that but not great. It'll show it to me pretty soon. Natan means to give. Let's say that's very easy for me. So I click easy and so on. And you just complete the deck like this. You just keep going through, responding, guessing what the English is, responding how difficult or easy that you found it to be, and on through the deck, and so on. I hope you found this uh, helpful, and uh, thank you very much for viewing and listening. Goodbye.